Hello dear students, this is problem number 21 of chapter 4 of Engineering Mechanics Statics 9th edition. Okay, in this problem, the loading of problem 4 by 20, which is 20 number uh, problem, which was 20 number problem, which is solved, I already is shown applied uh, roof truss, neglected or horizontal reaction forces at the support and solve the forces in all members compared with the result of problem number 20 so this is problem number 20 which i find it i solve all the forces in this problem so the this is the problem number 20 of loaded loading of 1 1 kilo newton at each point vertically okay so we have to and this is problem number 21 the only difference between problem number 21 and 20 is its uh, shape it is it is on this shape and this problem number and the c h this is the member c h only difference between the c h member and c f member the c h and c f member are here is now uh, is not appear c h and CF member, there is a BG member and DG member appear here. So we have to calculate all these for uh, all the forces in all these members and compare with this problem uh, and uh, compare with the forces in these members. Uh, so we have to look to what is the difference between if we design like this truss or design like this stress what will be the difference between in these uh, two shapes okay so first of all i want to uh, find this alpha angle so you know that tangent theta is equal to uh, uh, opposite side divided by adjacent side so opposite side is 2 adjacent side is 2 plus 2 is 4 so tangent alpha is equal to 2 divided by 4 alpha will equal to tangent inverse 2 into 2 divided by 4 so alpha will equal to 26.57 degree okay now there is there are more than two unknown forces at each joint so we uh, can't calculate uh, forces in members first of all we need to isolate this whole truss and uh, find out this reaction forces so we don't have to find out horizontal reaction force because uh, in question it is given uh, it will be neglected okay so first of all i want to take all the horizontal vertical forces equal to zero so um, summation of all vertical forces equal to zero you know that this force uh, we know that this force is when i cut it at the midpoint so the left side is equal to the right side that's why n a will be equal to the n e so n a plus n e this load plus this load minus this are loaded because they this loaded are directed downward that's why it i put here with the minus sign so n a plus n e negative 5 equal to 0 so n a plus n e negative uh, n a is equal to n e so n a plus n a negative 5 equal to 0 so 2 n a equal to 5 so n a will equal to 2.5 and else also n e will equal to 2.5 kilometer okay the reaction force N A is 2.5 kN and N E is also 2.5 kN. So now I take joint A to find the forces in members with the joint A, which is connected with the joint A. So summation of all vertical forces acting on this joint A is equal to zero. So there is two forces, uh, three forces. One force is this N A, one force is load, one kN and one force is the component of A B. So A B cos alpha, this is alpha. So A B cos alpha plus N A which is directed upward, negative 1 which is directed downward equal to 0. A B equal to 1 minus N A divided by sine alpha. So A B will equal to 1 minus uh, at the place of N A I put its value which is 1 2.5 kN divided by sine 26.57. So if you calculate this on your calculator, so AB will equal to negative 3.35 kN. The negative sign means that my assumption was wrong here. 
so this is not intention it is in comparison so uh, that's why uh, de is also equal to 2.3.35 kilonewton uh, and is it, it is in comparison because of symmetry so a b in the left side is equal to the right side okay so the left side a b is equal to the right side of de so this and this member are same in their shape and in their loading okay so summation of all horizontal forces acting on this joint a equal to zero so there is a b cause oh, alpha plus a h there is only two forces what one force is a h and one force is the component of a b okay so a h will equal to a b cause oh, alpha so at the place of a b uh, which is uh, 3.3 negative 3.35 negative 3.35 cause 26.57 degree so a h will equal to 3 kilonewton which is uh, this uh, positive sign show that my assumption was right i was assumed that a b is a h is in tension it is in tension so uh, when a h is uh, a h this is a h so e f will also be equal to 3 kilonewton okay e f will also be 3 kilonewton and uh, it, it will be in tension e f also be 3 kilonewton and it is in tension okay so now i take a joint h to find the uh, required forces in members so summation of all vertical forces i was uh, said that uh, I was said that uh, B when the two forces are at line of action then the force with the, some angles will be equal to zero so with the 90 degree the force with the 90 degree will be equal to zero so BH is also equal to zero due to the its symmetry DE is also equal to zero so summation of F of X equal to zero there is two forces A negative AH negative uh, positive GH negative h plus g h equal to 0 g h will equal to a h a h is i find it a h which is 3 kilo newton so a h is 3 kilo newton so g h is equal to 3 kilo newton so g h uh, is similar to f g is also 3 kilo newton and both uh, uh, forces are in tension so now i take joint b to find the forces the required forces okay so in joint B, summation of all horizontal forces acting on joint B equal to zero. So negative AB cos alpha plus BC cos alpha plus BG cos alpha. So at the place of AB is 3.35 cos 26.57 plus BC cos alpha plus BG uh, cos uh, 26.57 equal to zero. So uh, I want to uh, take the bg is the function of bc so bc will equal to 3.5 cos plus bg cos alpha divided by cos alpha so if you calculate this uh, the answer will come bc will equal to minus 3.35 minus bg let's say it is equation one so summation of all vertical forces acting on joint b equal to zero so ab uh, sine alpha negative one minus bh you can uh, easily uh, look it with this diagram free body diagram of a giant b okay so 0 plus bc uh, sin alpha plus bg sin beta equal to 0 so at the place of uh, bg i at the place of bc i bc i uh, write these values okay so 3.35 plus negative into negative plus 3.35 sin alpha negative 1 plus into at the place of bc i uh, put the value of bc 3.35 minus bg uh, so minus bg okay and bc sin alpha sin alpha is also negative bg sin alpha equal to 0 so if you calculate this r negative 1 minus 2 bg sin alpha equal to 0 so bg will equal to 1 divided by 2 sin alpha so bg will equal to 1 divided by 2 sin 
26.57 so bg will equal to 1.12 kN so it is in a compression uh, that's because bg is bg i was assumed that this is in compression so it is with the sign negative so it is the negative sign show that my assumption was wrong it is not in tension it is in compression no due to its sign uh, sorry uh, no, I want to uh, put the value of BG in this equation to find BC. So, BC equal to 3.35 negative into negative 1.12. This is the value of BG, which I find, find it here. So, BC will equal to negative 2.23 kN. The negative sign means that my assumption was wrong. It is in tension. Due to its symmetry, it will also equal to 2.23 kN and in compression no the last i will take joint c to find the force in member cg okay in this member cg so for this so uh, oh, i take uh, summation of all vertical forces equal to zero so our uh, vertical force is this uh, negative cg negative one negative bc cosine alpha negative g mm, negative g d sine alpha this is g d sine alpha so c g will equal to negative no, 1 b c it is c g ok so negative 1 b c sine alpha plus negative c g uh, G D it is G D sin alpha. So C G will equal to this is C D this is C D sorry this is C D this is also C D so C G will equal to negative one minus into minus B C the value of B C two point two three negative two point two three sin alpha twenty six point five seven negative into negative two point this is the value of cd negative 2.23 sine 26.67 equal to 0 so it is not equal to 0 this is the equation so if you calculate this whole equation cg will equal to 1 kilonewton okay so when uh, you compare this all tension forces and compression forces in all members you will look you will uh, look a very minute uh, difference between the truss this loaded truss and between this loaded truss because the load are all similar would only their shape are different this truss have different shape and the other truss have different shape but in their forces there is no huge difference in their forces so this when you uh, decide to design this truss or this truss you only look to the uh, there uh, you only you have only look to their uh, to their beauty don't look uh, because uh, there is no de loading difference okay thank you very much